everyone, welcome back again to my channel. This is Teacher Morris and today's video we will discuss about circle and the terms related to circle. Circles, unlike any other shapes, this do not contain edges but form arcs and angles. Circle is a set of all points equidistant from a given point called center. It is named by its center and indicated by the symbol. The measure of the entire circle is 360. Circles can be named by its center and indicated by the symbol. Example, what is the name of the circle? If your answer is circle A and read as circle with center A or circle A, then your answer is correct. So there are terms that related to circle. So first is chord. So a chord is a segment which endpoints are on a given circle. Example, segment AC or line AC is a chord of a circle B. So this is the figure. A chord does not lie on the center B. Second is arc. So arc is a part of a circumference of a circle. It is named by the their endpoints and can be read clockwise or counterclockwise. The symbol for arc is this one. Example, the curve from point B to A, point A is an arc, which can be read as arc DA or arc DA. Other example of arcs on, in the left figure is arc DAC. A, arc ACD and CDA. So this one. And arc ACD. So there are different types of arcs. So let us have the semicircle. An arc with a measure equal to one half of the circumference of a circle. Its measure is 180 degree. It is named using two or more or three endpoints of the arc. Example, a arc AC and arc ADC. So arc ADC and arc AC. So we have here minor arc. It is an arc of a circle that measures less than a semicircle or 180 degrees. So minor arc is less than a semicircle. It is named using two endpoints of the arc or three endpoints as long as it measures less than 180 degrees. So examples, arc AC and arc DA. So, arc DA and arc AC. Example number two, what are the minor arcs of circle B? So, we have the solution. Arc AC, arc CD, and arc ACD. So, those are minor arcs because it measures less than 180 degree. Another is major arc. So it is an arc of a circle that measures greater than semicircle. It measures greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. To include, to indicate the major, major arc, we must include the point between the endpoints of the arc. So example, ACD and arc CDA. So example number two, what are the major arcs of circle B? So arc CAD, this one, is a major arc, DCA and arc ADC.
Another is intercepted arc. So intercepted arc is the arc that lies in the interior of an angle and has endpoints on the angle. So example, arc BC is the intercepted arc of angle A, uh, angle C, A, B. Example number two. Arc AC is the intercepted arc of the angle ABC. So this one is the intercepted arc. So angles or the different types of angles. So central angle. A central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle. The sides of the angle contain two radii of the circle. So, so a central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle. So we have here the circle B and its center is this one. And example, angle ABC, ABC, is the central angle of circle B. Inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and whose sides contain chords of the circle. So we all know that chords does not lie on the center. So and inscribed angle contains chords of the circle. So example, Angle CAB is the inscribed angle of the figure. So, points of inscribed angle. So, figure 1. In figure 1, the center of the circle is on one side of the inscribed angle or diameter of the circle. So... Angle 10 is the inscribed angle and the and intercept. In figure 2, the center of the circle is in the interior of the inscribed angle. Figure 3, the center of the circle is in the exterior of the inscribed angle. So all of these figures have inscribed angle. So angle H. Angle IHS, this one is an inscribed angle, AGP, and angle PEN. So those are the points of inscribed angle. So inscribed angle are angle that are inside the circle. So we have here the assessment. Given the figure below, name the terms related to circle O. Cho choose the answer in the box provided and then answer the questions that follow. Words can be used more than once. So, example number one. So, line VR. So, what is line VR on the figure? So, it is called diameter. Angle EOR. So where is the angle EOR? So this one, angle EOR. So it is central angle. So that's all for today, guys. This is Teacher Mars, and believes that everything is simple unless you make it complicated. Mm, look at